Hello! Welcome to... Oh no, I forgot to put this nicely. There you go. Welcome to December... 9th! Correct. 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. It's December 9th. It's a Saturday. It is Saturday. And today is the day for the open beta for the Monster Hunter. So mm. I got the Monster Hunter hoodie and Monster Hunter t-shirt. Did you download the beta though? That's no. the That's the real question. See, I'm not going to be a guinea pig and pest <laughs> the game. I'm going to play the game when the game comes out because I already played the game and I, I know how the game works. And I'm not going to put my time into the beta and then get that beta wiped out and then start from a new. That would, that would make me sad. But yeah. uh, understandable. Today's I'll, beer. Uh, I was about to say I will put probably more time in the Monster Hunter game uh, when it actually comes out. But yeah. I was thinking like that might be the game that pushes us to get a second PS4. Oh, it's coming out on PC. Yeah. Mm. No worries then. Yeah. No second PS4 required. Yeah. Today we have nine donkeys of the apocalypse. It's not my favorite title. It's uh, a 9% extra strong beer. Mm -hmm. And the donkey got uh, the butt tattoo. It does have a butt tattoo of the Philips logo. <laughs> yes, sir. Hop bombs away. It's a pity all forces of destruction can't be this delicious. Hold on tight. This may leave some craters in your flavor bunker. I'm scared. I think it, I mean... Apparently this is for like their ninth birthday. Ah, uh, that makes sense. That was seven years ago. Oh! So it uses nine different kinds of hops. What? Water, barley, hops, yeast. That's it though. Mm -hmm. Serve at four Celsius. Here you are. Thank you. I shall. Ah. Uh... Ah, I have a feeling. I have a feeling. I might have a feeling. It smells nice, I think, actually. That it might be too little happy. Nice white top. Mm. It looks like an IPA, that's for sure. Fuzzy, peachy color. It smells like a... Hoppy, obviously, but like citrusy a little bit. Yeah, it's got I think kind of a brightness like a, to it. Like a orange kind of citrusy, yeah. for sure. Well, cheers. Cheers. Oh, I like it. It's quite nice. Very clean finish with the with the subtle tone of hoppiness at the end. Yeah. It's not bad though. It's I thought it would be bad. But it ain't bad. Also, we want, uh, went to a, a nice sushi restaurant last night. Mm. It was fantastic. But the beer selection was somewhat to be desired. But uh, they had Philips. Last time when, I went, when we went there, they had Blue Buck. So I'm just like, I'm going to get the Blue Buck. They're like, oh no, we don't have Blue Buck anymore. Guess what they have instead? They have Hop Circles. Mm. I was like, dude, that is the craziest thing ever, man. It's not a great match. It's like I am I am like haunted by Phil's hop circle and then like the ghost dawn on me. And I'm just like ah yeah. blow your taste buds wide open with like an incredibly hoppy beer and then taste this delicate, you know, raw fish. Sushi was real good it though. It was delicious. Are you were you glad that I, I took you there? I was glad. Yeah. Good. We haven't had like good sushi in a long time. He hasn't had good True. sushi for a long time. I had sushi when I was in TGS, so that was still nine months. Not nine months, what am I talking about? September. That was September. So it was like uh, two months kind of-ish because I went there end of September, so it's more like October. So it's like, but anyways, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I like uh, cheap, fast sushi as much as anybody else. It can be nice to just eat like a lot of rice. Rolls? And, like a fried Well, I mean ham. like, you know, when you meant like fast sushi, you meant rolls, not nigiri sushi. Most of the time, yeah. But you know, when it's like nigiri sushi, it's just like, it's like nom nom nom. So good. It's the sushi rice, right? It's the sushi rice and the, 
the, the freshness of that that fish mm. it's just like so good it's so good man seriously when you come to Vancouver you should really try like a high-end sushi restaurant because we make one of the best sushi in the world because sushi uh, 20% is skill 80% determines by the quality of the fish and we get the freshest fish in the world but we feed our cats canned beef liver because you gotta draw the line somewhere well they don't like fish though <laughs> Ruka throws up what if you feed him like dried fish snacks but so Ruka only likes uh, like chicken gravy gravy with the chicken or something chicken with the gravy or something but Tomo I don't think he cares at the same time I don't think he cares about anything in this world so he's got a good pose he's like yeah you know he went I think he's like trying to relearn how to meow again mm. and so he came to my room and went like <laughs> and then I was like what is that sound like is that something like outside or something right I was really like oh my god and they went like, and I looked down and it was Tomo and now I'm like oh Tomo and then I moved my legs but it made like there's a paper bag near me so it went like the crackling sound of the paper bag and then Tomo got freaked out and he just like jumped out I was like dude you know it wasn't <laughs> I wasn't trying to hurt you, you know, like I feed you, I clean your shit, you know, I'm not gonna hurt you. But he's like, oh my god, human, too dangerous, run. He gets a little spooked. He gets way too spooked. Right, Tomo? When does he get not spooked? Tomo. <laughs> he's, he's cute though. He's cute, but there's like, I wish he's more friendly where I want Ruka to be less friendly annoying because when we're streaming Ryan closes the door so that Ruka won't you know bother him while he's recording but then he went like no, no, no. it wasn't just like meow meow it starts like that for like <laughs> 10 seconds it goes like meow meow and then we were like Ruka you can't come in and then no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like as if you know we we like stabbed him or something I don't know he makes like the meow that's like the most sad meow in the world you know how you were trying to get uh, Thomas attention now you're getting his back yeah you don't even get to see his face he turned away from me yeah Tomo. now he's gonna leave if you keep doing that I just want you to look me in the eye I'm your owner. He does look unhappy now. See, like, I told you. So. Yeah. <laughs> Tomo. No. No human. No human. No. Tomo. He's hey looking at buddy. me. He's looking at me and just Hello, like. Hello, Tomo. Why is it wrong with our baldy domey? Tomo. You didn't make about this track. <laughs> As Ruka told me to say, uh, Tomo go homo, I don't appreciate what you did. Maybe that's why he's thinking. You notice in like every one of these videos, we talk about the cats for like five minutes. We're hopeless. <laughs> We're a hopeless cat couple. <laughs> We're doomed. That's what uh, our generation is doomed. What do you think about the beer? I like it. Um,. The more I have, the less I like it. Really? Yeah, but I think it's it's good. The more I have it, I like it more. At first, I was like, oh my god, it's gonna be like Hop Circle again, but like, it's good. It's like a worse fat tug, which is not necessarily no, a bad thing. It's a better version of fat tug. That I you, disagree. This is a safe place, but you can't say that <laughs> outside. Fat Tug is like the most revered BC beer in existence. It, this is better than Fat Tug. That's madness. I didn't say Fat Tug is bad. I said this is better than Fat Tug. Fat Tug is just like, Gah! but this is like, oh, that's nice. It's like if you intensify this into like, if you basically put this in a pot and then you cook it and then just make it into syrup and then you just pour a little bit of water, that's what Fat Tug tastes like. Just concentrated hops 
central. This is like, oh, it's nice. It is like, you couldn't get like a more stereotypical hipster West Coast beer than this. Why it's just that? like, hey, we made a 9% IPA, double IPA maybe. Uh, there's nine different kinds of hops. What do you taste when you drink it? Hops. Oh, I realized there's not, it's 9%. It has nine in the title. There you go. And then there are nine uh, different hops. So it's like nine, nine, nine. It's not six, six, six. It's just flipped. So maybe that's cool. I don't know. I think it's okay. <gasps> and December 9th. Today is December 9th. It all makes sense now. Oh my Five God. Five stars. Four nine. And then Tomo goes nine, and they go like, oh my god. No, he's not happy. Oh, he was relaxed, and then when we got excited, he's like 20% 20, 20 less relaxed. Yeah. No, oh, that's why it's so nine, because it's <laughs> December 9th. You don't just want to come be on camera a little bit, buddy? There's no way. There's no way. I will put all my money that I have that Tomo won't come to you the couch. But when I sit on my chair once a day, he jumps up and he looks me dead in the eyes. <laughs> and I look him in the eyes and his eyes are like so wide. And I just look at him and he goes, <laughs> And then when I pet him, if I put my hand here, he's like, Yeah. <laughs> Thomas look at me like, shut up. Shut up. You're embarrassing me. Shut up. His meow is like, it's always so alarmed. I wish if there's a YouTube video of how to teach your cat how to meow, <laughs> I would like to learn how to teach Tomo how to meow because now he's just like making weird sound now. He was, he was meowing pretty well for me today. Really? Yeah. Today he went like, like, like <laughs> so low that it actually hurt. like you can't go any lower. He was doing that. I'm just like, I get you're trying. But maybe that's not the right direction kind he, of thing. He was giving me some good meows. Some old-fashioned Tomo meows. <laughs> like that? Yeah. That's good. You know, we thought Tomo was sick, but he's not sick. And he's well. <laughs> as well as can be. <laughs> yeah. You know, who do you think will outlive? Tomo or Ruka? I'm not going to answer that question Why about not? about my two sons. No matter it's... how you answer, it comes across as uh, callous. No. Yeah, absolutely. I could answer about us. I'll, I'll probably outlive you. I'm Asian and lady. Yeah, but we have like, we're human beings. And I'm younger. But they have like, we're, we're their caretakers. It's like, it's like your parents being like, which kid do you think is going to live longer? You or your brother? Like that's, for parents to speculate is a little over the line. For us to speculate about each other, that's you know. That's okay. Yeah, because we're like, we can fight back. I'll, I'll just nod. But you know, I'll probably live longer than you. I mean, I am Caucasian. I'm younger. Older than you. Asian. Way more than you. Woman. But, on the other hand, when we look at like a medical history, except for my weird nut, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> smooth sailing all the way. I mean, you could you could technically get rid of your balls and you could still function as a normal human being. Yeah, but like, these, they're fine now. <laughs> I want to make that clear. You don't have to point that. But back it. in the day, one of them was a little <laughs> weird. But I'm, we've been to the doctor like uh, many times, the ER many times. None of them for me. That's all I'm saying. So I've got the genetic factors and the lifestyle factors probably working against me. But... Uh, I don't know. For some reason, I'm like hardy. Yeah, until you fall. I've never fell. I've never fell. Never <laughs> yeah, but fall. Un until you fell, you know. I got that bruise on my arm. No big deal. That's right. You Keeled maybe in. the clumsiness will kill you. Healed in one day. Maybe the clumsiness will kill you, Ryan. I don't think you so. You just go like whoop, and then that's like that's the. I'd be more worried about you pushing me. What would I push you? Hey, our potatoes are done. Nice. It's not like... I'm gonna... People would think I'm like mean. 
I'm not mean. I would never push Ryan. We haven't upped our uh, life insurance policy yet <laughs> oh either, my God. so it's not worth pushing. You're me making yet. it even worse. <laughs> I'm just saying, if I turn up dead at the bottom of a staircase Jesus somewhere, Christ. then <laughs> the prime suspect is right over there. What if that actually happens tomorrow, and then the cop reviews this, and then just like, well, he, well, you're I'm the running prime. it in my head. I'm running down the. What if you actually go whoopsie daisy? And then you you fall and then here I am and I yeah. get accused. I'm gonna I'm gonna be Tomo. I'm gonna be like <laughs> Oh my god. I have spoken his language and he has he has thinking he was he's thinking. He's thinking that there's something near him that is similar being as him. <laughs> <laughs> is my sister here? <laughs> I think he likes the Christmas tree. I think so too. Maybe he's a very festive mm. cat. <laughs> is that true? We'll never know. I gotta get that table. The oven is very upset with us. Yeah. All right. Let's end it here. What do you What do you give the beer, Kate? I give this four point five out of five. I like it. I'll give it a four. I think it's nice. Very very hoppy. Ryan's a hipster. All right. Let's go. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Oh. Uh...